Hello Year 3! I hope you enjoyed yesterday's lesson and the chance to show off all of your fractions knowledge. Now Miss Lopez and I have both been in school these past few days so we might not have been able to comment on your work. But we have looked at it all and we're so impressed. And we're going to be handing out some certificates today for all of your fantastic fractions learning. Today we're going to carry on looking at word problems, so let's get started. Here are the answers to yesterday's questions. Pause the video to check whether or not you were correct. If you've got any questions or something's confusing you, send me or Miss Lopez a message. Today we are going to be continuing to solve word problems that involve fractions. Today's word problems will look at halving and doubling. Have you seen these words before? Can you remember what they mean? Pause the video and see if you can explain the meaning of these words. When we halve something, it means we divide it into two equal pieces. The word halving is very similar to this fraction here, one half. That's because when we find one half, we're splitting our whole into two equal pieces. So when we halve something, we divide it by two. Here is a pizza. And I've split it into two equal pieces. I've divided it by two. So we could say that I've halved the pizza. And if I take one of those pieces, I've got one half of the pizza. We can also halve numbers and amounts. Here on the screen are ten sweets. If I wanted to half these ten sweets, I would need to divide it by two, or split them into two equal groups. Here is one group of five, and here is another group of five. So I know that half of ten is five. Ten divided by two is five. Or ten split into two equal groups means there are five in each group. So, let's remind ourselves. When we're halving, it means we're dividing by two. When we double, we're doing the opposite. Instead of dividing by two, we're multiplying by two. And we might often read the phrase twice as many. This means double. On the screen, I've got one pizza. If I wanted to double it, I multiply it by two. 1 times 2 is 2, so I would have 2 pizzas. Again, we can double amounts or numbers. Here are 6 apples. If I'm going to double 6, if I want twice as many, I'll need another 6 apples. So double 6 would mean 6 times 2, which makes 12. So. Remember, when we're halving, we're dividing by two, and when we're doubling, we're multiplying by two. We want twice as many. Here is our problem today. Emma has six sweets, and Elliot and Lulu have also taken some sweets, but we don't know how many they took. All we know is that Lulu took half as many as Emma, and Elliot took twice as many sweets as Emma. Our challenge for today is to work out how many sweets they took all together. Now I've been looking at the question very carefully and I have spotted some of our vocabulary. I can see the words half and twice as many. Pause the video. Can you remember what it means to half an amount? Can you remember what it means to find twice as many, to find double? Well done! Let's start by finding out how many sweets Elliot took. 
We know Emma took six sweets and Elliot took twice as many. I wonder if you can work out how many Elliot took. Pause the video and see if you can write a number sentence and prove it with a picture. I have started by a bar model. I'm going to draw Emma's bar, which is going to be six sweets. I know that Elliot took twice as many, so I'm going to give him the same bar as Emma and another bar because he took twice as many. He took double. My number sentence would be two times six, which is twelve. So I know that Elliot took twelve sweets. Could you explain why I am correct? I am correct because Elliot took twice as many. So this means he took double. When we're finding double, it means we multiply by two. So I was right to multiply six by two. Let's think about how many Lulu took. We know Emma took six sweets and Lulu says that she took half as many sweets as Emma. Pause the video and see if you can find out how many sweets Lulu took. I'm going to do the same thing I did to work out how many Elliot took. I'm going to draw a bar model. I can start by adding Emma's sweets. She took six sweets. How do you think I would draw Lulu's bar? Our friend from Maths No Problem is giving us a clue here. She's saying that when we want to find half of something, we need to split it into two equal groups. So Lulu's bar will be half the size of Emma's bar. This means it will look like this. Can you see the outline of the whole bar? And can you see how Lulu's yellow bit is half? Let's use a number sentence to work out how many Lulu took. We could say that Emma took six sweets. We divided this into two equal parts. So six divided by two is three. This means Lulu took three sweets. Could you pause the video and explain why my number sentence is correct? My number sentence is correct because when we half, we divide something by two. So I needed to half the amount of sweets Emma had. I needed to divide it by two. Well done, year three. We have used the number of sweets Emma had to work out how many Elliot took and how many Lulu took. Our final step is for us to work out how many sweets they took all together. Pause the video and see if you can write down how many sweets they took all together. Did you manage to find the total number of sweets the children took? Great job. Let's look together. We need to add the three amounts. We can add 6 and 12, which makes 18. And then we can take 18 and add three more. So all together, we know the children took 21 sweets. Well done, Year 3. That was a tricky problem and there were lots of different steps we had to do. But we worked through it together and we got there in the end. I would now like you to have a go at a question yourself. Ravi has half as many two-pound coins as Hannah does. Hannah has eight two-pound coins. You need to work out how many coins does Ravi have and how much money does Ravi have. I'm going to give you a clue. We've got this word half. Can you remember what we do when we are halving an amount or halving a number? 
Maybe our friend from Maths No Problem could help you. Pause the video and see if you can find the answer to the two questions. Let's have a look at the question together. We know that we are finding half. This means we're going to have to divide by two. Let's start by working out how many coins Ravi has. I'm going to use a bar model. I've got a space for Hannah's coins and I've left a space for Ravi's coins. How many coins did Hannah have? Correct, Hannah had eight coins. We know that Ravi has half as many and we know that when we're halving, we're dividing by two. So we need to do eight divided by two. Eight split into two equal groups. This will give us four. So I can see that Ravi has four coins. We have worked out how many coins Ravi has. Now we need to count how much money this is. Remember, these are two pound coins, so each coin stands for two. Let's count together. Two pounds, four pounds, six pounds, eight pounds. So we can see that Ravi has four coins, but Ravi has eight pounds. Well done, Year 3, for giving it a go. Now it's time for your independent practice. I would like you to do page 126 and 127. This is Worksheet 29. Now, if you look at these pages, some of the working out looks a little bit confusing. If you find it easier, you can read the question, solve it with your own method on a piece of paper and then just fill in the answer at the bottom of the page. So if you're finding the working out from Maths No Problem a little bit confusing, just work it out yourself and write the answer. And if you found it easy, there's a challenge in our PDF pages for you. Have a go. If there's anything that's confusing you, send me or Miss Lopez a message.